Hi and a warm welcome to Frugal Fall. My name's Lara and this is a budgeting and lifestyle channel and today we're going to do some bargain cooking again. Yellow sticker items. So this time focusing on lunches and it might sound a bit strange to have soup in the summertime when the weather's warmer but actually they say in hot countries to cool down rather than having a cool drink well, actually, I'm having a cold drink. I'm having a cold, refreshing beer. Cheers. So they say a hot cup of tea, having a hot drink of some sort, is a better way to cool down, apparently, than having a cold drink in hot weather, which sounds a bit bizarre. But in the same sort of way, I actually really like having soup for lunch in the summer, even though it's a hot meal in hot weather. It just feels refreshing and satisfying and it's also a nice light lunch because when the weather's warmer I definitely find that my appetite's a little bit smaller. <laughs> still love my food of course um, but having something a bit lighter for lunch like soup I often find it hits the spot and it's satisfying but it can also be very frugal especially when done with yellow sticker items. So, I'm not going to do it in the slow cooker today. I'm going to use the hob and, well, I say hob, I don't actually have an oven because, as you can see, my kitchen needs a lot of work. It's an electric two ring hot plate. So, perfect one plate per saucepan. So, I'm going to just do it using the saucepan instead of the slow cooker today and batch cook two lunch meals. So they'll be, most of this will be frozen, but my mum's visiting later today, so I'll see if she would like some of one of these before I freeze them. And we can have some lunch together if she's not eaten yet. So the first type of soup is going to be a mushroom soup. So it's 32 pence per bag of mushrooms. It's 17 pence for all of this swede. I'm going to use one and a half onions. So I got six onions reduced for 32p. So I'll work out the price. What I'm going to do is I'll write it down and I'll let you know here the price per meal for this soup. So bargain onions, bargain mushrooms, bargain swede. I'm also going to factor in how much it would cost for one and a half stock cubes. I didn't buy those today. And of course, two cloves of, you guessed it, garlic. <laughs> I'm mad about my garlic, garlic fiend, woo! <laughs> okay, I can't juggle. <laughs> but they're only very small cloves, they're not big. So two small cloves is plenty, I reckon. So that's the first soup, which is the mushroom. Second is carrot and coriander soup. That's one of my favourites. So it's going to contain a whole packet of carrot battens for 22 pence, a pack of carrot and sweet mix for 17 pence. Again, two small cloves of garlic, one and a half stock cubes. Um, you could use any flavour. I've got vegetable, you could use chicken, ham, whatever. Also some coriander. Now it was really fab because usually I would just use dried coriander but there was actually fresh coriander available for only 23p which I think is brill. So I'm going to be able to, apart from the garlics and the stock cube, I'm going to be able to make these meals all from stuff I've bought in the supermarket as yellow price reduced items which I'm really delighted about. That doesn't happen every day. When it does, I make the most of it. And now I also make a point of doing a wee video to share with you because I just feel that we're really all put in a very difficult position with the cost of living crisis at the moment. Wherever you are, I'm sorry that you're going through that. There are so many forces that are controlling the price of stuff. And I get that it's more in expensive to import things and there are all sorts of things going on in the world right now that have hiked up food prices and it's just awful for people and it definitely makes it harder and people are feeling the pinch 
So I feel like whatever we can do to try and make life a bit easier, take the strain off of it, is well worth doing. And if I can share ideas for how to try and really make a food budget stretch, because right now I'm having to put this into practice, I'm really having to make my food budget stretch as far as possible right now. You know, I'm on a tight budget and I'm doing a low and no spend here. So if you look back at the bank of videos, there are different playlists all about that. I'll go into a lot more detail in those videos if you want to hear more about how I'm structuring that and how it's going so far. But what I'm saying is anything I can share that's going to help people potentially lower their food bills or find ways that work for them, find ways that work for you to make the cost of food budgeting and budgeting and frugal living in general more manageable then it's a real gift to be able to do that and I'm really happy to have that opportunity and very very thankful that it's even possible to do something like this and make videos that hopefully can be helpful, useful, inspiring, entertaining, whatever. Um, I, want, I like to be a service and give in some way and it's wonderful to be able to do that and thank you for being a part of that and please share in the comments the kind of things that you would like to see me make. I do make different kind of dinners and things every second Sunday, especially over winter in the slow cooker. Over summer, I'm also going to be focusing more on summery, kind of lighter foods like snacky things, salads, more like food to eat on the go. But I always welcome any ideas anything you'd like to see just let me know share in the comments introduce yourself that would be fantastic so as i say we've gone into the price per meal without further ado let's get cooking now this bit's going to be sped up a bit <laughs> Slight problem. There isn't space to do what I'd originally planned. Look, <laughs> I haven't even put these in yet. <laughs> Oops. 
so change of plan I think what I'll do is I'll do the mushroom batch on the hob and I'll do the carrot batch in the slow cooker watch this space So here we go. Now I've added seasoning to everything, salt and pepper. Actually it was free because it was either my mum or my brother and sister-in-law. I think it was two or three Christmases ago as part of a hamper of foodie goodies that I received. I got some Atlantic sea salt and some black peppercorns and those kind of grinders. Two of these seconds I'll show you. Yeah, these things. So thank you to whoever it was. I think it was my mum. So because these are on the hob, they've each got 750 ml 
of boiling water in them. I'm going to cook them on high at first and then reduce the heat and simmer probably for about 40, 30 to 40 minutes. I'll let you know. And then for the slow cooker, there's a litre of boiled water in there. Again, the seasoning. Cooking it on high, probably for two to three hours, but I'll let you know again at the end. What I think I'll do, because I'm feeling quite lazy, is I'll wait and once they're cooled, I'm going to use my hand blender to make them a more, not, not a soup with bits, a more smooth consistency. I quite like my soup that way. I like it chunky sometimes too, it just depends. But I think for these two recipes, I'd rather hand blend it, but it's not essential to do that. Really, it would have been better to put the mushroom one in here because it's a lot bulkier. But I realised that if I started moving things about, I would have um, ended up without enough onions. It would have messed that up, so I just left it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to chop the mushrooms, but yeah, they wouldn't fit otherwise. So that's them all in. Things are cooking away. I'll be back soon once it's all ready and we can do a couple of taste tests. See you soon. Here we go, it's ready and it looks delicious. I'm really looking forward to trying this. So here we go. Hold on, I'll bring this a bit closer. Oh wow, yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's really good. The flavour is lovely and I was thinking it might be a bit too runny, but actually the consistency's turned out really well. So, so I've still to work out how much it costs per portion. But the whole batch was only one pound two, so I think that's turned out really well considering it's all yellow sticker items. The flavour's great, it's a great consistency, definitely a thumbs up, I recommend it. So I've got these portioned up. Mum and I had a bowl of mushroom soup each for lunch. So there's two left to freeze. And I'm going to have, it's a very soupy day, <laughs> soupy day. I'm going to have some carrot and coriander in a sec. Do a taste test with you. And the other three can get frozen. So not bad at all. Right, let me turn the camera around. Also, I have a pesky bella. Yes, you want attention, don't you? And food, probably. Yes. Hey, cheeky madam. What a cheeky madam. OK, 
Okay, here's the final taste test. One ball of soup. I'm not going to tip it to show you because it will go everywhere. Right, here it goes. I really like that. The mushroom's my favourite. I like this too though, the flavours are good. It's a decent consistency, it's not too it's not too thick but it's not too runny, it's just perfect. Having the fresh coriander is a great addition, so I was well chuffed with that. There's loads in the freezer now, so I've got plenty of coriander to keep me going, which is fantastic. Let me try it again. Mm hmm yeah that was a good bowl of soup I'm looking forward to that so excuse me <laughs> thanks so much again for watching today and joining me here on Frugalful and looking forward to seeing you in the next video take care very best wishes enjoy the rest of your Sunday bye for now